When you're pregnant, what's going on in your belly is great, but what's going on elsewhere, maybe not so good. The aches and pains of motherhood are worth it, of course, but a little relief every now and then is certainly welcomed. Prenatal massage can provide the relaxation you're looking for. Your body is changing every single day. Your hormones are changing and affecting your structures, the actual weight, your center of balance is changing. I don't think there's any other time in life when your body is transforming that dramatically, except for when you were a baby yourself and maybe in adolescence. Which means it's the perfect time to take care of your body. As I work with hundreds and over the years thousands of women, I can see the patterns, but when it's a woman doing it for the first time or the second time, it's all new. And it's all a little confusing and scary sometimes too. See, if somebody's coming every two weeks or even every month, mm -hmm. it's really supporting the body. We're addressing the different things that are coming up. It's allowing us kind of to stay ahead of the aches and pains rather than trying to play catch up. When we get this knee about as high as the hip, that high toward the ceiling. Really comfortable. Yeah, that takes a lot of pressure off the bottom hip. So take a nice full breath. Just sighing it out, kind of letting yourself relax onto the table. The comfort is just one of the things you'll take away. Some element of the session might be educational, as well as doing the hands-on body work piece. I like the pressure to feel satisfying, so you're not kind of wishing it was more, mm -hmm. um, but not so deep that you're bracing in response, so you're right. holding your breath. I'm going to be paying attention to the type of pressure I'm doing in different areas so that it's safe. I'm going to be paying attention to how you're most comfortable and aligned in your body. I'm going to clearly not lay you flat on your belly on a hard table. That wouldn't be comfortable and would not be good for you or the baby. Around 20 weeks, you'll probably notice your baby a bit more as they grow. In that halfway point, we're maybe starting to feel a little bit more low back and hip achiness, but are especially feeling the middle back, the bra line, maybe even starting to feel some tightness when we're trying to breathe. I feel like I could fall asleep right now. I'm very comfortable. Pushing, pulling, varying pressure, forearms, fingers. It's like a good it's like hurts a good so pressure. good. Yeah. yeah. It's a good hurt. That's <laughs> kind of what we're looking for. It's all used to provide the most relief possible. Any massage is great, but prenatal massage gives that extra little relief to moms. Somebody might come in wanting to work with low back pain or aches in the hips, or maybe they're wanting to focus on how they can work with learning how to relax more deeply into their body as support for the labor process. Those big gluteal muscles, the muscles of the hips and buttocks, get really tight and tired in pregnancy. The work on the calf should be lighter because our blood vessels are closer to the surface and we don't really want to dig into that at the back of the leg. Every massage should be unique. If I'm paying attention to what I'm feeling in your body and what you've told me, I'm going to be constantly modifying and adapting what I'm doing to hopefully give you the biggest benefits. To get the most out of a prenatal massage, visit a professional. Massage therapists who don't have specialized certification or training just don't have the information or the knowledge. Mm -hmm. In a worst case scenario, they would not make the safety adaptations that need to be made. What I find normally happens is they don't know enough, so they're nervous, and then they barely touch a pregnant woman, and she just doesn't get benefits from it. There are a lot of modifications that we make in pregnancy according to how your body is changing to both support and benefit you, but also keep it safe for you and the baby. Now, Open Circle even offers income-based pricing to make their services more accessible. Kaylee recommends booking your massage on a day where you can relax afterwards. Of course, drink plenty of fluids after your service and try a warm bath or shower to get longer-lasting benefits. It's also a good idea to avoid any heavy lifting or intense workouts in the lower body and hips.